here at the Verizon Wireless. Can't really talk. I look like an idiot because these people are sitting out here, but I'm gonna try and get the iPhone today. I didn't pre-order it and now I'm regretting it, but just got off work not too long ago. It's 7.30 in the morning, they open at eight. I had to stay after work for a meeting, but uh, I'm about to go sit out here in the cold with these people. Hopefully I can get one, if not, it's cool. I didn't really plan on getting one this year. Like, I'm definitely gonna get the X, but like, I didn't plan on like getting one right away. But if I can, I will, if not, fuck it. Check that shit out. Skirt. It's a new iPhone 10, girl. Check that out. Boom, in the box. Nothing new or out of the ordinary. Regular, there it goes. Paperwork, get some stickers, randomness, some uh, wired headphones with an adapter, get your regular cable, this, that, and the other. Um, this phone actually does have quick charge but they don't include the cable or the power brick for it. Of course, you have to buy it separate because it's fucking Apple, but so far so good. The phone is great. The only complaint I have is that all of Google's apps aren't updated yet, so it doesn't like fill in the screen properly, which is whatever, it'll be updated soon, I'm sure. But so far so good. I need to order my case, my actual case I'm gonna use. I have this one for now. It's actually pretty nice. Nice and sticky, you got the pop socket on there. What else? But, uh, I'm gonna get the same case like I had on my last one, which is like a Kevlar carbon fibery type thing. Real minimal. Uh, I really like exposed button cases, so that's a big thing for me. But uh, other than that, so far so good. I have the camera set at 1080p at 60 FPS, which is what I had on the last phone. This phone actually does go 4K at 60, which I might do a little clip of that some other time. But I mean, it's pretty much pointless because iMovie doesn't export video in 4k so it doesn't really matter anyway for me at least until i get uh the other editing app i forget what it's called but for now we're going to take this put it on the wall ah yes I'm trying to fit it here beside the uh oh no let's stay oh god oh god Set it here. Move the mouse over a little bit. Yeah, and set the ear pods on top. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, we're about to go to the car meet for a minute and then we're gonna go see the new Saw movie and then I'll uh, have a bonfire. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to Lubbock for my boy Sammy's birthday and maybe do some other random shit while we're there. I'm not sure. But nothing too much car stuff this weekend, but we'll throw some car content in for sure. Maybe. We out in this bitch. We're over in Lubbock for Sammy's birthday. We're about to go meet up with him and all the guys at uh, Walk On's restaurant. And then we're gonna go out for the night. Should be a pretty sweet time. Jesse's been here since, I don't know, what, six in the morning? 6.30. 6.30 in the morning. He, had, he got some really random one day job thing working for Nissan, so, during the football game for Texas Tech. But uh, anyways, off to eat. We in this bitch! 
Time to get it. Got me a bear. See, I mean, I'll, I have to edit the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. What's up guys? Last night was fucking so much fun. Happy birthday again. Once again, Sammy. I'm out here about to uh, cook up some steak. And uh, we got these, they're called pierogies. They are, uh, yeah, there you go. I'm just, ah! Ooh, nice catch. Basically they're mashed potato and cheese filled noodles. You just fry them up, butter. Uh, I use butter, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Um, I find them up real nice, they're real good. I'm vlogging, hi guys. Yo. Yo. Um, other than that, I just wanted to show you guys some of the, the iPhone 10 interface. So I'm gonna use my girlfriend's phone and set up just to show you guys. I'm a big nerd, so don't get, um, yeah, I'll just show you guys some shit. So here's this, you can see the notch here. It isn't, it isn't bad at all. Like I actually really like it. It gives it some real nice character. 
but uh, just to get home from any out of any app, this little bar down here is what you use to navigate. So you'll just swipe up. Well, that actually takes you to the app switcher if you do it nice and slow. So if you just swipe up, you go home, you open up any app, let's say rewards, and you're doing your thing, and you go home, boom, you know, and that's it. Uh, the new, what you call it screen is from the right side, so you'll, you'll access all that from there. And then your notifications will come down from this side. If you're still on the home screen, you still have your camera there, or you can click this, and it'll take you. You also have, let's go home, and you just click that, and you got your light, real nice and, and bright. weird because I'm looking at it through the screen of what I'm recording on. So, there you go. so it's, no, it's a fingerprint magnet for sure, but this is all glass. You got wireless charging in there. It's super sleek, super nice. This is actually steel on the sides. This is actually all steel. It's super strong from all the drop tests I've seen. It's pretty crazy. There we go. We got nice now. You still got your button there to vibrate up and down volume keys. You still got your regular lightning port speakers, but the home button is longer now, as you can see. And this is how you activate Siri now, by hitting that button, which we also don't have enabled, because why? We can just talk to Siri instead of uh, hitting a button. But we do, we both got this screen protector. I forget the brand, but it fits perfectly. What is it? Sonics? Sonics, apparently. Yeah, there's that. So I learned last night actually. So I was switching apps like this, which is actually cool. You can do this. You can just like pick it up and move it over. But I learned that you can just swipe over. You just swipe over. Go like that. Sweet. Pretty sweet. So now the last thing I want to show you actually is let's go to where's our YouTube. YouTube. I'm just to show you guys my mind. See, I'm still not even used to using the device. So you got this, so since it has the notch, it'll, it'll automatically do this, but then you can zoom in. Again, oh, this video doesn't really do it. My videos aren't good enough. It's actually like five something in the morning. Five in the morning. She doesn't have any subscriptions over the means. There you go. So you can zoom in on some videos. Hello, friends, and welcome so to another video. Today, to I'm going to be right. buying and opening an abandoned storage unit. So lately, I've been seeing a lot of people. Her, her YouTube is different than mine, actually. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. A lot of the Google apps didn't update themselves yet. So you get like these, these black bars up in the top. But most apps say like your messaging, it'll, it'll use the full thing so that's that and google keyboard isn't optimized for this yet either so yeah but it's pretty sweet we dig it battery life so far has been great the speakers are nice and loud cameras are well you're watching one through right now but i don't know how well i'll even show you anything but it's pretty sweet a nice uh nice clear case we both ordered uh d brand skins so once those come in i'll uh be showing you guys how to put those on the new iPhone 10 and uh, give you a little review on that. And it's almost midnight. I'll be at work at midnight, but I'm bored. I got like a half hour to kill before I gotta leave. So, I've been wanting to do this. I keep forgetting. Actually, I gotta fold them to the garage, but I have a few things in the Mark 7 that you can go into the Mark 4 to include my radar detector, my little, uh, that thing right there. My screen. So, I'm gonna go in. Um, I have like a chapstick and like the thing I use to wipe off my dash, a little terry cloth. Um, what else? Just random other stuff. The big ass fucking up there. Probably look small on camera. Big man the jamba. I gotta be careful when I'm in the attic. I think I did that. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna transfer some shit over and then had to work here soon. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do the radar because I kind of tucked the wires in the back, but I'll do that last. All right, so we just took this down. Pretty easy stuff, just have it tied up there. We got my little number one brother thing that obviously I got from my little brother once upon a time. I'm a hoarder and I keep things, so if someone gives me something, I'm more than likely to keep it for like ever. So here's my little, little cloth, I got my, my chappy, I got my head condom for racing, I got, never know what I might need matches, actually I'm gonna leave that in here. I know I have, yep, some fuses, a lighter, a brush, a marker, we're gonna throw all this in the other car. What else do I say? I'm all in the radar back there. You can see it hanging on the B, barely. It's in the center right there. I actually have the, the wires, like I said, tucked, so we'll take a look at that once I throw all this stuff in the other car. Why not? I don't really ever drive this. I actually got these little vent things. The, they smell so good. But I keep my vents closed in the other car because they look really clean, and I can't obviously have these in if the vents are closed, so. I think they're just gonna stay in here for now. Yeah. I'll probably drive this car like tomorrow to work or something, but I really enjoy driving that car. All the noise it makes is just... All right, well we got everything in here. Of course you got a multi-tool. Can't go anywhere without that. You never know when you might need a multi-tool. You never know when you might need a lighter. They're both blue to match the other car. Uh, this is the baby blue, my favorite color actually. So this car actually might be uh, getting a variant of this color. Stay tuned for that here in the coming months. Got a Sharpie, never know when you might need that. Vape juice because, you know, we all vape grow. It's like some, yeah, it's in a lot. Shit's really good. Got a brush to clean, you know, interior pieces from the dust. It's out of the desert and then a, uh, whatchamacallit, tire thing. And we got the booklet where I just went inside and grabbed. This wasn't in here. I actually kept this when I got rid of the car. Rid of. But that's where I keep all the insurance and registration, time slips. Uh, what else? Alignment stuff, compression test stuff, all that. Be in there. I put my little thing in there for my brother. I gotta vacuum it out actually. I missed that. Um, yeah, this whole thing is gonna get wrapped. It's kind of just does not look good anymore. But that'll eventually get wrapped. There's my pop socket thing. I showed you guys I bought that the other week. I'm in love with it. I use it all the time. And I got this back in. I've had this for obviously since 2011. And my friend's daughter actually left her bow in my car once upon a time, and I just decided to, to keep it. Well, I think I put it up there so I wouldn't forget to give it to him, and then I just always forgot, so now, now it's mine. <laughs> and then my little, uh, my little Rasta guy, I've had this since high school too. A bracelet that a friend made me. I just, like I said, I keep things. If someone gives me something, I keep it, or if I find something, I keep it, so. And I have this 50 cent piece I usually carry around with, it's actually in my uniform, it's a lucky 50 cent piece and this other lucky, I, I got lucky charms and shit all over the place that people have given me or I've found or whatever. But uh, that's it, I actually need to take this out. This is like forever, I actually remember buying this. I think it was like in Albuquerque or something. Then so I'm gonna take that out. But here, like I said, in these coming weekends, I need to take all these pillars off and read, this one's actually not all that bad, but if you look at that one, it's just absolutely terrible. So we're gonna pull those out, get those redone. This bright, this new light on the iPhone 10 is super bright. I thought the last one was bright, but this one's freaking. I think there's four LEDs in this one, and it's just it's killing my eyes right now. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys some little shit here and there. But I'm about to head to work. Yeah, I gotta leave in like 10 minutes, so I gotta go finish getting ready. But uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was a good weekend. Really solid weekend. Next weekend's a four-day weekend. My girlfriend's dad's coming down. So I think he's flying down. He'll be here Thursday and leaving Saturday afternoon. And then Saturday afternoon, there's an autocross event down in Roswell. So if Jesse's not busy, I'm gonna try and take both of these cars down to Roswell and uh, race them, get a side-by-side -side comparison, and uh, let you guys, my feedback before I get rid of that car and put everything back into this car. Get a real world like track experience against you know a turbo 380 wheel horsepower and this one's like 250 both all-wheel drive six, six speed manuals it has an updated all-wheel drive system it's obviously bigger it's heavier but it has a lot more tech in it so we'll see how it compares to the uh to the mark 4 next week in the fall as well so stay tuned that will be next week's video 
but I'll give you guys updates throughout the week. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.